Hello everyone, you are welcome to another basic technology class. Today we will be talking about drawing practice and under drawing practice we will be looking at drawing instruments and material. And before we move on, let's look at the learning objective. At the end of the class, we will be able to define technical drawing, identify drawing instruments and their uses. For example, T-square, Z-square, pairs of compasses, French curve, etc. Likewise, we also look at the distinction between drawing instrument and drawing material. And fourthly, we also look at how drawing instrument and drawing material help us in construction of shapes. And five, we also talk about the key for drawing instruments and material. Now that we are clear with the learning objective, what is technical drawing? Technical drawing is a universal language used by engineers, builders, architects to interpret objects, symbols, lines, curve, and conventional representation on paper with the aid of drawing. And for example, when you look at building drawing is a product of technical drawing. Your house plan is a product of technical drawing. Going forward, technical drawing has the following properties. A, technical drawing must obey standard signs, meaning that it is the same sign across all field of engineering. B. Technical drawing must be neat, meaning that they must not be stained on the drawing. C. Technical drawing must be accurate. When you give measurement, it must be accurate. And anybody who check it will confirm the same measurement. Moving forward, now that we are clear with the definition of technical drawing, Let's look at drawing instrument and material. A good and accurate drawing can only be made through constant practice with the aid of drawing instrument and material. And here we'll be talking about drawing instruments. And drawing instruments are tools used in technical drawing that do not get consumed while using them. They include the following. One, drawing board. This is a flat wooden board with a smooth, rigid surface. It is suitable for the A4 paper. And you can see it on the left uh, top corner. And that is a, uh, a sample of a drawing board. Number two, with T-square. T-square, this is a T-shaped instruments containing a head and a stock. It is used for drawing a horizontal line and for setting the paper on the board to support the set square during drawing. And beside the drawing board, you can see the T-square there. Number three, set square. These are instruments in the form of a right angle triangle made of plastic we have the 45 degree the 30 degree 60 degree set squares they are used for drawing vertical and angle slants slanted lines and just like is a normal thing you have in your masset but for drawing they have a bigger size which is specified for technical drawing. And number four, scale rule. This is a 30 centimeter wooden or plastic ruler used for measuring length and for measuring for dimensioning scale scale drawing. And beside the set square, you can see the scale rule. It 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 has it is it has been 
scaled in different metrics for conveniency. So if you are using a centimeter, it is there. And if you want to use inches, it has been provisioned for those users. The fifth one is protractor. Protractor is a plastic semicircle instrument used for measuring angles. And you can see, just like we have in our mathematical set, that is a protractor is the same in any across board. Six, French curve. This instrument is used to draw different lines, sizes, and shapes of curve. This flexible curve is used for the same purpose. French curve, from the name, it is curve, meaning that it is used for drawing different curves. And it's a major tool used in technical drawing. Number seven, drawing sheet sets. This is a pack containing different drawing items like set of compasses, divider, etc. And you can see the drawing set, it contains different divider, the compass, and so on and so forth with stencils that can be used in construction. And number eight, compass. A compass is used to draw circles, arc. This is, there are a small bowl compass and large size compass, depending on the nature and size of the drawing. And these are some of the drawing instruments used in technical drawing. So let's move on to drawing material. Under drawing material, drawing material are items that get consumed with use. They include one drawing sheet. Once a, a drawing sheet is used, for, it can only be used for one drawing. And after that, you cannot reuse it again. Two, so, eraser. Eraser is, is a rubber material used to clean dirt and error made. A good eraser must show be able to clean error without tearing the paper and that is a razor there from the picture three anchor chief it is a small clothing material used for cleaning and dusting dirt on the drawing sheet on the drawing paper and because is a major requirement in technical drawing because once you use the razor there are stains and you cannot use your hand to clean it. So you need to use a clean white handkerchief to wipe, to dust the dirt. So as not to have stains on the drain sheet. Fourth one, brush. The brush is used to remove dirt from the paper after erasing. So in a situation where you don't have handkerchief, you can use brush. And you can use handkerchief if there's no brush so the two work either way five a mystery cloth instead of reshaping the pencil this material is used to restore sharpness to the pencil so as to clean the edge of the pencil and to keep it give you a sharp edge during construction six adhesive paper they are sellotape, paper tape used for fixing drawing paper on the drawing board. It's the regular paper tape we use, and that is what we use to, uh, to fix the drawing sheet to the board instead of using pen. And eight, pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener, this is a material used to sharpen all pencil to a conical point shape that is good for drawing. With the aid of this drawing instrument and material, we'll be able to construct different shapes. For example, we can construct pen polygon with the use of compass, ruler, 
and z square. We can also construct a regular octagon, hexagon, regular pentagon, etc. With drawing equipment, instruments, we can construct ellipse. And this is where French comp comes to play because French comp is used to join all the points together to give us ellipse, which is our the, the drawing. This is what we want to achieve at the end of the drawing. After we've done all this, then how do we care for our drawing instruments? Just as we take care of ourselves, clothes, ourselves, clothes, house, and other properties. So also we do need to take care of our drawing instrument to prolong their service life and for safety reason. The, these precautions should be observed in respect of the following instrument. One, drawing board. Do not use pin. For fastening your paper on the board, use tape or clip. B. Do not use blade or knife to cut something on the surface of your drawing board. C. Always cover the drawing the surface of the of the drawing board with a thick paper or cardboard. And D. Keep the drawing board in a safe place when not in use. For T square. Never use the T-square as a walking stick or cane. Do not use pen, knife, or blade along the edge of the T-square. Always hang the T-square when not in use. Always keep the T-square clean. 3. Set of square scale rule, protractor, French cup. Do not use any sharp objects such as razor blade or knife on their edges. Do not play with them, sit or load or put load on them because they are fragile and they can break easily. Keep them away from fire. Four, pair of compresses and divider. Do not sit or step on compass. When not in use, keep them away in a safe container. Never use compass or divider as paper holder. Do not use your use them use them. Use their needle point to punch up. And others all all other instruments should be kept in their pocket after use. The cover should be made available for to complete the storage of the drawing board and all other instruments. We have come to the end of the today's class. So at the end of the class, we have been able to learn the definition of technical drawing, know the technical drawing instrument and material know the uses of various technical drawing instruments know how sh how shapes are constructed know how to care for technical drawing instruments we have come to the end of the class and let's quickly attend to this question to show our understanding of today's lesson one list five technical drawing instrument that you know so state the uses of instrument mentioned in question one three list five technical drawing material you know four mention five instruments and now to care for them if you have answered this question kindly send your answers to your teacher or Send it to us. Send it to jimo at edufest.com. Thank you. I'll see you in the next class. Bye.